Hello everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate that how you can create a tab bar view or a tabbed view in Surf UI. Now, a couple of things I've already done. If you look at my assets folder over here, I do have two different icons that I want to set it up on the tab view. I also have a couple of different views that I have created. You can see that this one is called blue view. We have an orange view also over here. And it's really nothing. It's just a view with an orange background and a view with a blue background, as you can see. So nothing complicated. In our content view, the only thing we have is a text. And we don't really want to display text over here. We want to display a tabbed view. So let's see how we can do that. Luckily, there is a tab view control or a view that you can use. Inside the tab view, you can actually start by creating whatever view you want to display. So let's say that I want to display something called hello. And then the tab item label for this particular view will be text and I will say home. And don't forget to add the tag. If you don't put the tag, then it will not be displayed. Now, you don't really see it over here in the design view. If you go ahead and run it, and hopefully you'll be able to see the tag hello, which is right over here. If, you, if I zoom in, you should be able to see the tag. There we go, a little bit over here, and that displays hello, which is a text view that we are displaying. Most probably you don't really want that. You want to display your actual view, like the blue view or the orange view. Not a big deal. We can actually go ahead and simply say blue view dot tab item label and then pass in some sort of a text that you want to appear. And I can say over here blue and don't forget to add the tag. Uh, then we can put in zero. And I can use the same exact technique and I can actually create orange view in this case and I can maybe call this orange and make sure that the tag in this case is different. Let's say one. Now I can go ahead and play this. So you should be able to see two different tab items. You can see over here. It's kind of hard to see and it's very hard for me to like zoom in and out. Let me see if I can actually do that. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to focus it correctly, but you should be able to see the tab items over here. So right now, by default, the blue is selected. That's why you see the blue view, which is this one. But if I click on the orange one, which is tag item one, you see the orange view. Great, so this is working perfectly fine. But in iPhone development and in iOS app, you don't usually just display the label. You display the image along with it. So let's go ahead and create some other view. So this time I'm going to create a view and I will call it swords. And once again, I'm going to use a, the tab item view, but instead of passing in the text, I'm going to go ahead and pass in a vertical stack, which means that all the items that I'm going to put in the vertical stack will be one after the other in a vertical column wise fashion. The first item I'm going to put is the image. I already have the image, which is this one. I'm going to go ahead and select the name of this and just put it right here. So there we go. And the second thing I'm going to put is the text, which I want the actual label to say swords. And once again, don't forget to assign the tag. So I'm going to put the tag number two. Okay, let's go ahead, a little bit zoom out maybe, and let's go ahead and run it. So now you should be able to see not only the label, but you can actually see the image and it goes to swords. All right. So there you have it. This is how you create it. Now, one of the things that I've found out is that the image itself does have a system name, like you can pass in a system name over here, photos. And you'll see that this doesn't really work. At least it doesn't really work in our current setup or maybe it's a bug, uh, but usually I never really got it to work correctly. So that's why don't use the system name for now. Use the actual images that you can see over here. 
Now if I go ahead and run this, you should be able to see the swords. And if I click on the swords, it goes to the swords text view, which is this one. And obviously update this to reflect some sort of an icon because it's not really a good idea to simply leave it like a text. It should have an icon also, uh, just to give a little bit more visual indication. So this is it. This is how you create a tabbed view in Swift UI. Thank you so much. If you like this video and you found this video to be helpful and want to support my YouTube channel, then the best way would be to simply go ahead and buy my Swift UI course on Udemy. All the coupons, actually there are five or six courses, uh, are actually in the YouTube description. And I would really appreciate if you actually use those links. That will not only give you the best price for the course, but it will also uh, give me a higher portion of the revenue in other words. If you use my coupon, I will get to keep like 95% of the revenue. But if you use some other coupon, which is not my coupon, then I only keep, get to keep like, like 2%. So if you want to support, the best way would be to check out the YouTube description for this particular video and uh, click on any of the courses that you want. If you are interested in a Swift UI course, I actually have a Swift UI course uh, on Udemy right now. I'm still working on a couple of sections, as you can see, coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. But uh, actually this one is actually done but uh, some of them I'm still working on it, all right? So this is the best way to support. Use the coupons in the description of this YouTube video. And thank you so much for supporting me. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.